We are here to do an interview and nothing but an interview. Now, I've, I know we've done a lot of interviews about America, but something crazy happened at Fort Lauderdale, Florida Airport. There was a shooting. A gunman got on a plane and opened fire and opened fired. Five are dead and 13 are injured. Thousands of people were running from the plane. The gunman had mental health issues. The gun was carried legally, but he clearly wasn't using it legally. Even though the gun was carried, was legally carried, he should not have been let on the plane. Introducing mums. Words. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Question one. How do you think he got past the security? I genuinely don't know. I mean, we went to America. Big, big lapse in security. Yeah, we went to America recently and we had to take an internal flight. Um, and still had to go through, had scanners. To go through scanners. So we went through scanners. All our luggage was x-rayed through x-ray machines. And you take your shoes off. You had to take your shoes off, your belts off. And it's really Everything. worrying that we all have to go through that. And yet, this was let on board. Now, I think the main question people are going to be asking is how on earth he got it on board in the first place. So how do you think, do you, do you have a feeling it might have been any way? Um, I think the only way you could have got something like either... Somebody didn't do their job properly. Yeah, messed up. Or somebody at the airport on that particular system knew exactly knew what was yeah. going to knew, happen. Knew he had it. And just let him on anyway. My opinion here, but I, I he might have Lincoln's head is just getting the shot there. <laughs> he might have um, used um, got his friend to work at an airport to let him on. Maybe I don't know. That's just my opinion. But that's really worrying because now the person that let him on is an accomplice mm. to the action because they knew. <coughs> so, but it, it's at the moment, it's no just knows. nobody knows, it's just guessing. But I'm pretty sure that in the coming weeks and months, there's going to be a lot of inquiries, and that question is going to be par paramount to any investigation that's done. Yeah. Question two do you think the American gun law needs to change? Yes. And why? That's a big yes. Yeah. Um, um, well, you say, you say a good thing that, yes, it's in their constitution to have arms and to be yeah, able to have, have a right to bear arms. A gun. Now, it says so often, in their law. So, so it says so in their law. So it's something that can't be changed. But it, like you say, it says nothing about bullets. Own as many guns as you want. Make control bullets. the bullets. Control the bullets. The Constitution. America's got a Constitution, which is almost their governing document. And the dogs <laughs> on the table. <laughs> um, it's their governing document. It's almost like what. It's almost like what their their whole canon of law is based on. This one document, right? And it, they have it as their Constitution, and they have um, amendments in the Constitution. Now, their amendments are their list of laws, and, and they have things like um, what they have the right. They have the right to freedom, you know, they have the right to this, they have the right to that. Now, in their constitution, it states that, that its citizens have the right to bear arms. So that's, that's why, I suppose, in some ways, the country gets a little bit hung up, because they, their, um, the, the president's... When the president swears his oath of office, okay, the person who takes over as president of the United States, they have to say that they will protect and defend the Constitution. So one of the rules in the Constitution says that everybody can carry guns. And his job is to protect and defend it. Now that's a really hard thing to overcome. But it doesn't state anywhere in the Constitution that people have a right to ammunition. So why, I don't understand why America just don't, don't like Mummy Lam was saying, just go, okay, have all your guns. You're not having any bullets. And do that. But having said that, the Constitution has changed before. Because yeah. 
But this is one thing that they've that they been won't, arguing and, um, won't and they just won't do it because, quite honestly, sometimes one of the problem with elections is to get elected to be president in a way, you've got to have the majority of the country that agree with you, and that's just got to be the way it goes. All right. Sometimes there's electoral math and everything involved, which, but let's that's just say, don't worry about that. Let's just say. The majority of the country have to want you to be their president. Right? Yeah. Let's just say that. Um, it's hard to get elected when half of the country believe that they have a constitutional right to have guns. The other half of the country think they should get rid of it. What do you do? Because you cannot, you can't act without irritating either party. Half of the population. Ooh. Now, I think that at some point, someone needs to big, be big enough... To make a change. And, and, and almost, I don't want to use the expression man enough, because a woman's quite capable of doing that, but almost man enough to say, I don't give a crap who I irritate. Right? Okay. Sorry, well, yeah, you, be, you know what I mean? I don't care who I, get, who I annoy. We're doing it, Sorry and that's that. it. It was only the C word, it was okay. Wasn't right. Um, but as well, I don't understand a lot of it because their constitution has changed before. They they agreed, right? For instance, in America, oh, they cut my hands cold. Well, the, the, this <laughs> fine that not. In in America, there's um a, there's an amendment. Now I can't remember which one it is, but there is an amendment in their constitution that states that every so many years. They have to do a census, which means they have to go round and add up all the people in the country. I can't remember how many years there is between them, but there is a census that has to happen every so many years, right? <coughs> and the constitutions change because what it says is it says every person shall be counted as one, except black people. Racist. Black people who are counted as, I think, two-thirds. It's either two-thirds or half of a person. Racist. In other words, their own constitution, at the time it was written, but, but that wasn't racist at the time. It was, that was just the way the country was. They had slaves still. So they didn't count a slave <coughs> as of the same value as somebody else. But now, slavery has been abolished, they count a black person and a white person and a Chinese person or any other ethnic minority as exactly the same value. So if their constitution changed before, why can't it change again? What? Um, that was a good question. Question three. What do you think will happen next? I think it's a long way off them changing any, anything when it comes to guns over there, I think you're going to have a lot more of these incidents. Well, there's a lot more crazies, pe crazy people out there. Good for going, me. Interviews. <laughs> going out there and just there's been 142 people. school shootings since 2013 in in America. 142. And um, in you know, I want to read, you can't talk because I say your name three times, but we've got to get on with this interview. So mum, mum, mum. In 1996, the UK had um, similar sort of gun laws to the US, I would imagine. You know in what? When? In, in around about the, the 1990s, 90s, 90s, England had similar gun laws to the US. You know, that you could buy handguns, you could own handguns, but you had to have a licence, didn't you? There was a licence to have them. I can't exactly remember. I'm sure I just there was. Know, I just know the big amnesty happened... Um, um, yeah, because I'm sure they you can get the a license. It was a it license to own strict. to own a gun. Um, but then what happened is there was a school shooting in Dunblane, and eighteen people died. There were sixteen kids died, and two grown ups. Um, and that and that happened in 1996, and in January of 1997, handguns were banned, and that was it. One. As a country, we had one incident and we, and we banned the lot. 
America has had 142 and since, still can't since, seem to find since a way. 2013. 13. That's if forgetting you, all the years go, before. If you go back to probably 2000, uh, 1997 to when we abolished it, I wonder how many shoes. I probably can't been. even count. <laughs> you know, but that's that's worrying. We learned. The thing is, America's got to start America's learning. America's very young. It's a young country, but it's got to start learning from its mistakes. Because how many times? How many do times does something and happen? People have to be killed before a change happens. Before a change happens, how how much has to happen before they're willing to admit that it's not working, and they're willing to say, "Let's not do this anymore." Don't get me wrong; you're never going to stop crime. No matter how hard you try, it's no matter what you're going to be crazy people. It's going to be crazy people out there. It's going to happen. You're never going to stop crime. You're never going to stop homicides because oh, even nice. it's it's a murder. You know, oh. even even with our knife laws mm. and everything, we have really strict knife laws as well on on knives. But still we still have knives in our house, yeah. and people can still get their hands on knives, and people can still get involved in not what we call knife crime. Where they stab someone to death. You're never going to eradicate it, but they've got to it's learn. Got to line, they've got to stop it? making it it's so got to easy. Be, it's got to be a line. It's got to be a line. You know, I mean, goodness me. Do you know, in America, um, it's 21 to have a drink of alcohol, and yet they can't get their gun law under control. They can say you've got to be 21 yeah, to have a drink. How old is it to actually get a gun? I actually I don't think know. It's lower I think it is lower. It's sixteen. Is it sixteen to get a gun? Yeah, in I think so. It is where's, well. where's the logic? <laughs> you can own a gun that can kill people at sixteen, but you can't take a drink of alcohol until you're twenty-one. Goodness me, I'd rather see a street full of binge drinkers than bloody a guy on the street with a handgun. I don't know why they can't get this into their head, but it takes time and change happens slowly for those people who want it the most it will change it has to change but we're probably not there yet okay mums see you in the next interview bye, bye. <laughs> make sure to like for more subscribe to join team Football 15 Subscribe if you're new, can we hit three likes and well, peace out. Bye! Bye.